Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ayam Nullah Welcome to Favaculation Tutorial In this video we are going to learn how to create this Thanos Portal Effects Here is Cinema Hold TV Triple NFT Okay let's get started Let's create a uh, Torus And let's rotate this 90 degree We want this Torus above the ground And the next step is let's go to Torus uh, because we want very small uh, ring so let's decrease this like 1 and 12 and for the pipe radius maybe like uh, 12 okay we have very small very small uh, torus okay we want to add a displacement so make it a more dramatic uh, go to modifier and put displacer and make it a child for the torus and go to shading add custom shader with add noise and you want to animate the noise so animation speed change this to one and movement one maybe like speed point one okay let's we have a very cool torus animation okay maybe you can increase the ring segment and the pipe segment like 200 maybe for the pipe segment like 65 we have a uh, too small uh, this kind of noise okay and let's increase this like 235 you know I think that's good okay the next step is let's create a basic smoke simulation so go to uh, Taurus we have this we call this smoke source and right click add a turbine FD turbine FD emitter and scroll down we have option here called temperature value we're going to use both both of those so we're going to use temperature and density and go up and and also we're gonna add a noise so go to texture and volume texture let's in use noise and let's put the same value like a displacer I think that's good okay like put this to one movement uh what that's I think 0 0.1 and 1 okay okay just go to copy this paste this number in here okay let's uh, animation scale and increase the global scale okay and maybe increase the con contrast a bit you can preview this animate so we have this animated noise I'm just going to turn it off so now we have a uh, smoke source with a uh, with with noise and let's create a container to be nft container and increase the size for the yes Make sure this container covers the cover this smoke source, so we don't like this, and make it bigger, and push it back a bit like this, and you know you can increase in Z axis if you want to have very long trail. I think like this and that's good okay the next step is go to simulation go to density enable density and temperature we want we, we don't want to we don't want to have any buoyancy put this to zero and density zero gravity direction and go to container and simulation cache 
okay so now we have I have a path here okay scroll down let's increase the the voxel size it's too 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 big so around 80 for preview faster feedback is good okay the next step is let's start simulation okay we have a very simple smoke simulation we have no movement yet and let's go to turbine f let's go to a turbine fd container and simulation and you can play around with the wind i'm just gonna put it 25 and this wind speed uh 215. okay let's start simulation so now we have very cool smoke simulation and let's put a uh, detail to our smoke so go to vorticity and and let's for for the vorticity let's put uh 30 and intensity channel we're going to use a density for intensity mapping we want to remap this uh, we went like this okay okay like this i think you can make it smoother okay cool so and also add a turbulence we want to have a very 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 big uh, turbulence put this 250 uh, for intensity channel like use a density again and let's remap this again or oh, remap this okay like this and uh, I think that's too far and maybe like this okay I think that's enough and for the smallest size put this uh, maybe make it bigger just a bit maybe around 8 and 15 okay 15 for the period maybe 15 and for the density you can play around with the dissipation let's put the density maybe like 12 uh, and uh, let's start simulation again So now we need to add a uh, force. So let's go to turbine FD emitter and we have your force for the pressure put 80 and like negative 2 for the Z directional force. And let's start simulation again. So now as you can see the 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 torus is push the smoke and as you can see we we just have very cool simulation so that's it it's very easy and uh, for the rendering go to let's let's create a new light uh, I think I'm just gonna put this right here you know you can make and for this uh, I'm just going to make it less intense and the light put shadow hard shadow let's see what we have oh yeah because we we need to use a density channel for the smoke let's put this to density and we don't want any fire so fire shader change this to none and let's see what we have okay as you can see this we have a very blurry smoke so simply change in general we have option here inter interpolation change this to sharp so now we have very fast because we 
we want to see the detail of the smoke okay I think that's good and for the faster render you can scroll down we have option here uh, where is it illumination resolution put this like 10 I hope the rendering a bit faster okay that's cool we have uh, as you can see it's a bit uh, this is really bad so let's go to the benefit container and the increase the grid size in for the y okay and the grid size i think that's good okay let's try to render this game oh resim the simulation okay we want to wait until okay cool so let's try to render it again let's see what we have very cool so I just want to hide the the torus because we don't want to render the torus so render in render section so I hide the smoke source in the render section okay the next step is uh, we want to uh we want to play with several settings again in the in, in rendering okay I'm just going to use a uh, separate opacity this is very cool feature okay I'm just going to draw oh, I'm just gonna put this like this and we have a uh, very cool so now we can see we are starting to see the detail there and you know just don't want to get too close like this okay cool maybe a bit and smoke color let's change the smoke color scroll down smoke color change this to white and a bit blue in here blue purple and let's render again cool so now we have very cool smoke okay and uh you know you can increase the 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 simulate the container the the voxel size yeah you decrease the voxel size maybe like uh I think that's good just resume this again so I'm just going to pause the video okay I think this is enough so I'm just going to stop the scene so we have a very nice detail happens here so let's start, uh, try to render it again okay awesome we have a very nice detail we have very nice small detail in here and you know you can increase the the, the resolution again if you want but I think that's enough for this tutorial okay the next step is you want to add a light so you want to randomly create a blinking light like okay so let's create a light another light let's go call this portal light of course the the, the general we want to get a bit bluish color look like this and let's hide temporary for the turbo nft container and let's duplicate this portal light and go to mograph and cloner you want to clone the light so object 
used a torus smoke source and uh, let's put portal light uh, as a child of, of the cloner okay and uh, we have our let's join distribution to 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 to, to surface so we have very and uh, go to portal light go to details and add a falloff inverse square physically accurate and decrease the decay like this okay but what you want is like a blinking light so okay go to portal light and let's animate this so in the first frame zero maybe in the 10 frame uh i think okay i'm just gonna move this portal light intensity put this to zero and this 100 and back to zero again we have like but one bit uh random so going to we're going to use a mock graph effector and step and parameter scroll down we have option here called time offset put it put 60 so now we have awesome blinking light like this if you want a bit faster maybe like this and let's enable the container again okay maybe just put around oh yeah because i don't okay let's render this again let's see what we have okay as you can see we have a ve we have a light inside the smoke it's very cool so uh you know just like that very, very cool this is a s slow uh performance uh, okay i think you get the idea what i'm doing here so just like that you can just render the the entire frame so for the for the lighting uh for the for the comp composting i use after effects okay this is my render as you can see this is the beauty from cinema 4d you know just use uh the same method i told in tutorial so let's you know just like this and uh this is my render and the next step is you know you can add light like this and add uh lightning lightning like this make it more realistic uh just like in the movie the real movie okay for the lightning i use uh, a lot of layer so just randomly offset the time as you can see like this Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I know my English is terrible, but I'm trying as good as possible. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.